Well, yeah, in particular, we were, I was I think I was talking to you, Christy, about the um, song Fear. Yes. Where did that come from? Fear is one of the first songs that I wrote, and um, I, I, I actually sh really shouldn't even take credit. It was a download. Um, I actually experienced the song, but it was a night, I, and I often tell this story, and I think out of all the songs we've written, that is probably the one that I get the most uh, feedback from, because a lot of people, men and women alike, but mostly <laughs> women will tell me, that they um, have been blessed by the song. They've been able to... Um, actually overcome some of their own fear issues from it. But I was uh, a mom at home with my kiddos, and my husband was away, and I found myself going around the house, checking the doors, you know, listening real quietly before I went up to bed. And um, I walked up the stairs. We lived in an old house, and uh, they would creak as I went up. And I'd always do this always. Like, I never thought anything of it, but I always looked over my shoulder after I had already scoured the whole first floor, I still would look over my shoulder. And I got to the top of the stairs and did it again and got into bed and I laid there as quiet as I possibly could because that's what I did every time my husband was gone. Mm -hmm. I would be listening, I wouldn't move, I'd try to breathe real quiet. <laughs> that, to, I think that's very common. Very <laughs> common. This is why a lot of people can relate to this song because a lot of us do this. And I really didn't think anything of it. It was just very common practice. I didn't think I was insulting the Lord or anything. I just, whatever. So there I was, and I had the covers pulled up over my mouth. <laughs> like, hopefully nobody Like, what did that do? <laughs> I know. It they was hilarious. <laughs> they can't even, you know, you kind of cover everything just so you can breathe, but nobody can see you. Anyway, it was really silly. And I was probably like 20, 25 when this happens. Anyway, so I'm laying there, and I... I, I really seriously hear this little voice say, what are you doing? And I had to like confront myself and say, well, I am scared in my own house. I am, I am scared right now. And the Lord gave me this awesome picture. He's like, don't you know what power you have? And I got this picture of his hand being at my front door and being surrounded by his angels. And I could actually feel my body relax just in that instant of hearing his word to me that he is the one who protects me. And I need to, it was really a like, it was sweet, but it was like, hey, I'm here. I am here and that's all that matters. So I was like, okay. And then I started hearing this awesome choir singing Fear, the song Fear off Life Amazing. So I had to go downstairs to my piano, write it down, sing it, play it, get it all set. Right then. Uh, yes, because <laughs> it was amazing. And that would be, I didn't have a voice recorder. <laughs> I had, so I went downstairs and I walked back up the stairs and I wanted to do what I always did. I wanted to look over my shoulder and the Lord just was right there, and he was like, you don't have to do that. You do not have to do that. And I walked up, and I, and I decided I'm not going to do that. That's, I think, part of the process. You know, we get the truth, then we need to live it. So I start walking up, and I, I go to bed, and everything's fine. And the next morning, I wake up, and I always had this little verse calendar thing, and I flip it over to the next day, and it's Psalm 4.8 which is, I will lie down and sleep in peace, for you alone, O oh Lord, make me dwell in safety. Wow. And I was like, oh, uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like, this God cares enough about me to set me free from fear. He really cares enough about that little thing about being scared in my house when I'm alone. That's amazing to me. So I had to make that the bridge of the song. But, yeah. And I share that story a lot. And the people who go out with us a lot are probably very sick of it, but I, it's just... <laughs> Powerful enough to say that really God cares about your, your heart, your mind. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want you to be ruled by fear in any capacity. Mm -hmm. so. I do. I mean, I experience that too often. Yes. And I have to remind myself, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> God help me. And, yeah. you know, pray for the angels to look over the house. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, really intense stuff mm -hmm. and uh, real darkness can creep in. Exactly. And, and scary. When we... When we, I really think that once it has a voice in our head, that fear, the voice will get louder if we do not 
say, no, I'm not, I'm, that's not for me. That is not mm-hmm. for me at all. Um, because his angels are there. They're already there. His hand is already there mm. at your house. And there's power. There's power in the name of Jesus. That's it's right. There's power. I've had dreams before where I've woken up scared. Like, my, you know, when you have those dreams and your heart's just beating, and I've had to say, just repeat, Jesus, 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 mm-hmm. Jesus, which is like, oh, that, it seems like, oh, well, you know, but there's power in that name. It says that there's power. There is power in that name, and he wants us to be, to be free of that, and I, I love that because I don't, being scared isn't fun. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Be, you know, it's just not fun. And a lot, it's not good. And like you said, a lot of people really can relate to that. They experience yeah. that, and they experience it often. Mm-hmm. And it is like a cage. Yeah. 